looky here. It's broken in the ground. See right there? But both sides oh, are there. Oh, that side's not there. Oh, well, there's yeah. one. Yeah. Let's... Hey, that's still a mag. It's still a mag. There's another one in there. Yeah, I'm gonna keep digging. Well, I found both parts of this. They were still together, but it was broken in the ground, obviously. Four inches exactly. Got some serrations over there. Obviously, it's missing some enamel right there. Some enamel right there. And some root right there. But it's close enough to hole. We're going to count it. Didn't have much time to dig tonight. So here's all the Angus Dydens I found. Decent little angy right there. A little bit worn, but still nice. One and nine sixteenths inches long. Got some serrations to it. Maybe even a little bit patho. Not 100% certain on that. So we'll err on the side of caution and say it's just a little bit worn. That's a pretty Angus side right there. Nice green color, killer burlet, good sharp serrations two and a sixteenth inches long very happy with that one right there let's get a close-up of those serrations look at those things sharp very nice tooth this little angie pretty nice inch and a half decent color good serrations good cusp pretty good root i'll take it decent size i think it's diving right there Two and a half inches long. Got a good root on it. No chips or anything. Just a little bit worn, but you know that happens when they get tossed around in the sand. Still see some serrations on that side over there, especially when you flip it over onto this side. See them, we can kind of see the light glinting off them right there. Got the cusps. Got a little bit of tip ding there, but all in all, pretty nice tooth. I like this Angus Dyden. Look at the cusps on that thing. Two and a quarter inches long. Got some really coarse serrations on that thing. Decent root, tip ding. You know they had to eat. Oh, this Angus died and so close to a superhero. Just missing that one cusp over there. Still pretty good though. That burlet is awesome. The root is pretty good. Just a nick on the tip. Sharp serration still, one and seven eighths inches. Look at that little guy. It's one and three sixteenths inches. Good root, good serrations, a little bit of pitting there on the back. Tip nick, used to that. Still a good tooth. And the last of today's Angus Dyden selection. It's one and three quarters inches. Got some good sharp serrations, nice cusp there, even a decent tip. But you know, something's gotta be beat on it. And it's the root globe right there on the edge that's missing. What are you gonna do? Pick it up, right? There it is. There's Meg, clipped it right out of there. Pretty good. There's a nice mag. It's two and seven eighths inches long. Definitely complete enough to count towards the hole, even though it's kind of worn there. It's still got the whole shape. That's a nice tooth. Real happy with that one. Like I said before, didn't have a lot of time tonight, so I only filmed the big ones. Here's all the Mako. That's a beautiful Mako right there. One and five eighths inches long, a little bit worn, but it's got the whole root. But those colors, oh, just killer. Love it. That's a cool looking Mako. Look how broad that thing is. One and three eighths inches long. Got some pretty good sharp edges there. That's a nice tooth. Keep her all day. This Mako's seen better days, but it still managed to be whole. Got a little bit of rot there on the root, but that happens a lot. It's one and three quarters inches long. Blade's pretty good still. Good colors right there on the tip where it was sticking out. There's a nice Mako. Two and three eighths inches. Got a good root, nice sharp edge. 
good color. Just a little nick over there. All around, good tooth. Like these big Makos. That's a weird one right there. Look at that root. I don't know if it's just missing part or top of there, but kind of looks like a T a little bit. It's one and five eighths inches. Good blade. You can see where I hit it with the shovel right across the back. Didn't break it in half, but I signed it. Pretty colors on this Mako. All around pretty complete tooth. Good blade. Nice enamel. Sharp edges. Good flat side. One and three quarters inches on that. This Mako a little bit busted up. Two inches long. Missing some of the top of the root there. Some of the enamel there on the side. But still mostly complete. Nice lateral position tooth. There's my find of the day, a four and a 16th inch Megalodon tooth. I love that blue color. Roots really good. Got most, or actually it's got all the enamel. Can still see a little bit of serrations on there, but this one's worn pretty smooth. Found that one in the sand, that happens a lot. Got some burlette there. That's a beautiful tooth. All right. There we have it, everything from the hunt today. We got the Megs, the Angostitans, and the Makos. Good stuff all around. Really appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, please do that. And we will catch you next time. Until then, happy hunting.